Uh -huh. Keep your... Yes, yes. Browse as... Have you tried? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted... Of course. Browse responsibly now. Remember, and if it's not a firework... He's a bit of a genie. That's the trick. I've just got to find something that only I can produce. That's really hard to replicate. I've just got to find something that only I can produce. is Minsk, Jahira's old acquaintance. Painfully small world at times. Speak. This Stone Lord and Minsk are one and the same. Jahira's friend has taken a dark turn, it seems. The city, you mean, with all its noise, smoke, stone, and bustle. I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted. Orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most. And still it draws them in. The safety of numbers. The promise of civilization. The dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish... I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly, and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. Minsk, the Great Ranger. He's alive and infected. Else, we need to act. Minsk is working for the cup. Maybe we can help him. Sounds like we're not the only ones tracking down this Minsk fellow. Let's hope Nine Fingers Bounty doesn't attract too much competition. So, this Stone Lord is the legendary Minsk. And a newly minted cultist, no less. Uh, are we sure we want to find him before Nine Fingers does? I doubt he'll be pleased to see us. Minsk is the Stone Lord. Jahira's friend doesn't sound so friendly after all. If it breaks, won't blow us up. 
Captain. Head on up. Your uncle is waiting for you upstairs. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Change out this barrel soon. Steady, steady. Any spillage and only big Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for me? Employees only, past dear. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Won't blow us up. Employees only. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? In temperature. Steady at the mark. Employees only. Can't give up now. Mm. Gonna need to change out this barrel soon. Steady. Steady. Look. You do know that Uncle Falogia is not actually here, don't you? You're not going to find... Looking a little rusted. Are Look, we scheduled for either maintenance? you came to buy things from Tamara, or you really don't understand how shops work. Mm, not critical, just Another a Another friend of Falogia? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra, then? Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Don't jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Back for more of Uncle Felagir's finest, are you? That could not be less of your business. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Brakes won't blow us up. Temperature yet? Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? And it can be anything you want, I Dedicated to one lord and his 
Not to mention the parchment quality of the Gazette. Ugh, awful. I will cure you of your pestilence. Um, Phil Graves' mansion. Hmm, what's that? She's gone to pot ever since I left. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Speak. You're sure? What's on your mind? With... Yourself to Shiraz by my poor. Mother of cats, feline of felicity, the only deity one should ever swear fealty to in these nine lives. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Shiraz shall mourn your absence, but always honor your capriciousness as her own. May your dusks be long and your hunger fleeting. Yes, will you now heed the... No, 
my god! Is that fit? Carla Cliffgate? That can't possibly be you, can it? Fitz! If you want a sight for sore eyes. Where the hell have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you! The years have been good to you! I won't lie. They have. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first, you saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlach, we have a little one on the way. Fitz! That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Uh-huh. Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely. You're well suited, I can tell just by looking at you. Pleasure to meet you, by the way. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Great to have you back, Carlach. That wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step, save the city. Then, save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for? You in need of protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. City's got a dangerous air to it these days. Only makes sense to take self-preservation measures. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need. Oh, stand up. You're slouching. Oh, oh, oh. Wake up! 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 Wake up!
down. You're louder than the fireworks. Sweet! A magic show! It's been ages since there was any fun in this city. Sweet! Um... I'm gonna grow up to be a great wizard and wade through my enemies with spells of fire and blood. Mostly fire. Just look at her. <laughs> she hasn't been this excited since her birthday. Cool. Seriously cool. My favourite firework colour is, like, dark violet, because it's the most cool. I guess there are other uses for magic besides fighting off invading cultists. But I wonder if these mages shouldn't be in the battle. Beautiful! What colours! Oh, reminds me of the sparkler tricks on Liar's Night. I see it, sweetie. Oh, stand up. You're slouching. I mean, yeah, the verily, uh, behold and stuff. Just like Astando the Greater says. Yeah! <laughs> Great, isn't it? These are just cantrips. I can keep this up all day. Behold the sacred illuminations of the mysterious ancients. Back off, Chop, you're too close. Do you want to lose your eyebrows? Bloody believe it. No more puzzles. A travesty! Gather round for the show! Sit down at your in front. Look, Mama, look! It's so, so pretty. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his God's damn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Laroakin, the wizard who set out the contract, he owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in, get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah, beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring him back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. Especially if you found the relic. You lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody goblins. Laroakin should have warned us. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. This armor is a construct animated by powerful magic. 
It has no soul or power of speech, but it follows the directives of its master. It feels no pain and knows no morality. It will act on behalf of its master and perish when the magic that binds it is severed. your curiosity. Sorcerer's Sundries is the finest purveyor of magical miscellany for miles around. Where's the axes? What they sell is far more precious than mere sword or shield. They sell knowledge, ingenuity, and wisdom of mages past. Uh, sounds like more your thing than mine. That's why we need the ointment. The water elemental appears to turn towards you, showering everything with a bracing mist. I want a pet elemental, but Mumba says I'm not old enough. I wouldn't let it die like the goldfish, though. Have you seen how much the prices have risen? Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. The lava elemental looks at you placidly, near unfathomable heat beating against your face. Would you now? Imperial Mortal! Nothing but the Look, a bookseller. She can point us to the tome I need. The best necromantic charms in the city. All your money back. Just think of the possibilities once you have a fresh. Do you think that zombie looks fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. Quiet, please. I'm trying to decide if shelling out for one of these things is worth it. A newborn zombie gazes at you hungrily, pus drooling from its slack jaw. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. I have a lot of domestic tasks that are quite frankly beneath me. I simply me. must have it. They excel. Oh. Perhaps not. You're a fellow bargain hunter, I see. The hidden gems here are far better value than the rare books Tolna keeps locked behind the desk. Rare? Might as well mean cursed. What's wrong with some classic Elmminster? Maybe a nice bit of Volotham Gedarm. Must have some sort of Would you mind if I finish browsing before you muscle in, please? I was here first, actually. Still here? I'll have you know my elbows are much sharper than yours. Don't start to jostle, you can't finish. You should have planted that herb garden. Oh, one moment. I'm trying to work out how many pinches of mugwort is equivalent to one of Mother's Leaf. Perhaps you can swap garlic for blood staunch. Worst case scenario, you just wouldn't stop bleeding. And stink. I'm sure you'll manage. Excuse me, can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. I need to be prepared. Where is the famous Laroican? His shop is a nut of shambles. I'm not moving from this spot until Laroican comes and speaks to me personally. I will be heard! There's not much left. Looks like folks heard the Absolute was on the march and bought everything that wasn't nailed down. My advice? Cobble together what you can from what's left and wait for this all to blow over.
What are you doing here? Nothing for you to worry about. His voice catches. Something's wrong here. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Be very sure before you make to visit the Roican. He's got a beastly temper. But if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find the way into his tower up there. How can I help you? Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for. environment of quiet reverence.
Orcs are sensitive. <laughs> Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Lavorokan was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? Tremendous care with the Tharkia Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Its author was a spectacularly talented halfling. She was, allegedly, able to establish contact with members of the Seely Court. Imagine what wonders the Fae Pantheon might have revealed. Oh, incredible. You've heard about the Red Knight, I trust? Devout strategist made Exarch of Tempus. This treaty is a compilation of her own design kept here on the material plane for the benefit of us mortals. Quite rare. It is said to be written by Lord Cassus himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed and was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. The Annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the Crown's true nature. If only you could read them. Bye. Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carthus are best left unread. of these tones is enough to stimulate most.
Some people have no respect for This is hardly the time for idle banter. The annals of Carsus are here, waiting to be read. You really should have planted that herb garden, you know. Ah, oh, well, it's too late for that now, isn't it, dear? You might have a bit of that catnip decoction left, as long as Lord Portash hasn't gotten into it. I really wish you hadn't pulled the cat back. The vault is strictly prohibited for customers. If you don't cease this foolishness, the rest of Sorcerer Sundries will be as well. I think it's very funny. Well, you're wrong. And I'm wrong. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the Night Song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge de The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Claw. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. I see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand? Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time? You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? <sighs> Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now. Or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. Ah. 
I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. It didn't work out for poor Kethrick, did it? He was a fool, a desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. I intend to achieve greatness, and I intend to do it for a long, long, long time. He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons, his own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Katsus? Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Ah. Uh -huh. So it is you, Mistress Discarded Lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? There is no need for me to bark. My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Axe, I'll open a fine vintage in your name once word of your failure reaches me. can see you're in no place to have a civilized conversation. Return when an iota of sense has returned to you. You'll bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy, if his plans materialize. Mark my words, the night song is mine, with or without your help. She will ascend to her grand fate here, in this tower. You can get very rich along the way, or let someone else take what is rightfully yours. 
Choose wisely. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come, and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable, invincible. It all feels like recklessness to me. You're right. He sounds like a vile, vile man. I'd have liked to get a few licks in myself, honestly. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand, I suppose. I feel the same about her. I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. I imagine a rat like Laroican will be nothing in comparison. Moon Maiden, hear me. Protect the woman we both love so very dearly. <laughs> 